Lincoln here in San Diego at my academy, chilling, doing Lego locks, submissions. Um, we're just uh, going right through some things, okay? We have the knee lock we're going to do straight on our opponent, okay? What happens is a lot of people do it. I, would, I won't say wrong, but I'll say they can really improve upon this, okay? If I have a straight arm lock on my light arm, light arm, nearby. A straight arm lock, if I hold just the wrist, Turn your thumb upwards and escape rope walk out. Guys can easily escape if they know this, if I don't grab the thumb and hold correctly. Okay, go right down. But if I hold the thumb, yeah, try to turn out to him. You cannot turn because his wrist cannot turn. I have, I have the thumb, okay? Same with the leg lock. If you hold just this ankle like this, the guy can turn any which way he wants and he'll escape usually. And it happens all kinds of times, all kinds of ways. Worst of all, I see people teach this. Also, I see world champions teach this. Listen, it'll work on the average guy, but if you try it on me, I'm going to escape every single time. As a matter of fact, if people are escaping your straight knee locks, this, is, this might be what's happening. People teach to grab the toe hole from here. He's going to turn to his left and escape every time. I helped him to turn. I helped him to turn. So just as we have to hold the thumb and the arm lock, hold the big toe. This one holds the big toe. Grab all the toes, but it's not grabbing the front. Like a toe, it's not, it's a different attack, okay? I've, I see people teach this on YouTube, saying that I have a toe and an knee lock. Oh, I have two submissions. No, you have two half ass submissions, the guy's going to escape, okay? Hold the big toe, lock her in like a choke, now try to turn. You're not going anywhere. Nowhere. It's done, okay? But of course, my hips should be, they can't be up here. <laughs> you have to be low to the hips. It's like an arm lock, you'd be close to the shoulder. The shoulders on the upper body is like the hips of the lower body. The big toe on the toe on, on the foot is like the thumb on the hand. You know, so there's a lot of things similar with arm locks and, foot and leg locks. Very similar. Hold here. Grab all the toes. Fine. You don't really need to grab all the toes as long as you get it by your head. You can you can even hold it here now. You can't turn your toe. Try to turn. It's done. Of course, this hand I, I won't be waving at my friends. I will be holding it, but I'm making a point. As long as I stop that toe from turning, turn to your left. He'll turn every time. So if you hold like this, he's gonna turn. If you hold like this, you're helping him to turn. Now I know guys will tap there sometimes, but if he knows to turn, he will turn. You're actually helping him to turn, okay? But if I stop him turning, grab, and now try to turn, it's done. The fight's over, it's over. Simple. Now watch this too. If you use the other arm to go here and hold, it makes sense. But if you use your left leg, push my elbow off. That's a, that's a problem. Most guys won't know about that, but it'll work. This actually can work, okay? But if, if he knows a lot, he's tough, he's smart, push my elbow off, off your, your heel. Your come off. So that's why, here. Now, if you, put, you just left to push my elbow, it, it, just, it, just doesn't, it, doesn't, it just goes a little bit up and he's gonna tap right here. It doesn't really matter so much, okay? If you try this one, it is good. It just takes longer to apply on your opponent and while you're trying to swim this arm through, that's his moment to escape. So it's not wrong. It's very powerful, but it takes that little extra split second to get there, and that's the time you lose a lot of your leg attacks. Grab, and grab. By the way, notice how I'm always attacking the bottom leg. If I was to grab the other leg, stare at that, give me, give me the leg. Okay, it's not wrong, but if the guy's tough, he's gonna get up to his feet, he's gonna, he's gonna get, get up to your feet. No, get, yeah, the guy, the guy can actually build up base and <laughs> because you're attacking the top leg. So I call it just taking out your, the landing gear. If I take out the bottom leg, try to get now, the other leg's just doing nothing. Okay? If it was a fight, he could try to kick me, but it's just, he's gonna be really sorry about that afterwards. You know, I may, not, I may not be as nice on him if he kicks me with that other leg, okay? So it's just, that's just an option right there. It's not a big problem, okay? So once again, we're gonna practice our leg attacks, the bottom leg, okay? Not the top leg. Block the big toe. Grab all the toes. Do not grab the toe. Don't do it. You know what? Just because another hundred world champions teach something doesn't mean it's right. It means that's their way. They try it on me, I guarantee <laughs> it will be my way out. I will escape it every single time. That is actually, uh, that's a give me escape, okay? Grab the toehold. I'm talking famous guys teach this. They do it. And then a lot of guys escape leg locks, okay? The thumb to the hand is the same as the big toe on the foot. Control the thumb for the arm lock. That's why you, help, you control the big toe on the uh, leg or, or the foot for the leg lock. Straighten your locks, that's kind of a one-on-one -on -one introduction, but that's my way.